Welcome to BioRad's Masterclass Series. This is a short video that will describe the radial multiplexing strategy. Radial multiplexing is one of three easy multiplexing strategies that is used to expand the number of assays that can be added to a well when using DDPCR. Droplet digital PCR has many compelling advantages over other PCR methods. Easy multiplexing is one of these compelling features. Partitioning of the sample creates a unique situation where the assays do not have to compete for the PCR resources like a bulk solution multiplexing does. The more partitions, the more assays that can be multiplexed. Each droplet partition will have its own fluorescence, allowing for many more possible positive clusters to be identified clearly. Here is a 2D plot with five assay targets testing positive that can be quantified with just two fluorescent channels. Finally, detecting the droplets after the PCR reaction is complete. Otherwise referred to as endpoint detection means that differences in efficiency caused by the multiplex will have no impact on the quantification of the sample. Here are three examples of DDPCR multiplexing strategies and how the clusters might appear on the 2D plot. At the top is an amplitude multiplex with four assays a probe mixing triplex on the bottom right, and on the bottom left, a probe mixing radial multiplex showing a fiveplex. More clusters can be added for further multiplexing. Today, I'm going to explore the probe mixing radial multiplexing strategy. For the other two methods, see the additional videos. Probe mixing radial multiplexing allows for five targets to be multiplexed and quantified. Here, I'm shown an example of five single nucleotide polymorphisms being detected in a single well by creating mixtures of FAM hex probes for each target. At the y-axis, showing the FAM fluorescence, is the 100% FAM probe positive cluster for the SNP90C target. Just next to this, at a slight angle and towards the x-axis, or hex fluorescent channel, is a positive cluster created by adding a mixture of FAM and HEX probe at 75% FAM and 25% HEX. This second cluster detects SNP 66C. The third positive cluster detects SNP 54G and is created by adding 50% FAM and 50% HEX. Next, the SNP 43C positives are a result of adding a mixture of 25% FAM and 75% HEX. Probe. Finally, the SNP 38C positive cluster is 100% hex probe. Probes were all done using a final combined FAM and hex concentration of 250 nanomolar. This strategy is ideal for discriminating multiple different rare mutations in cancer samples, as well as copy number variation types of assays. Note that the diagram at the top of the slide depicts a dark probe or probe without a fluorophore. This is added to block the probe from binding to any undesired single nucleotide that should not be detected. If this dark probe were not added, both SNPs would be detected. However, the non-perfect match target would show up with a lower amplitude cluster of positives. For more information, see the reference materials on multiplexing at the end of this presentation. The analysis is simple when using QX Manager or Quantisoft Analysis Pro. After opening and selecting Advanced Classification Mode in the Assay Information box, you will add the name of the five targets and the die com combinations. Next, the software will provide a guide that will allow for easy clustering. Just follow the guide to label each cluster. In summary, easy and robust multiplexing is a compelling reason to use droplet digital PCR. Thousands of partitions per sample prevents competition for PCR resources and allows for many fluorescent signatures in a single sample. Reading droplets at endpoint ensures that every assay on each sample will be quantified. For best results, we recommend visiting the BioRad Digital Assays website where you can design and purchase assays that have been designed specifically for DDPCR. For additional reading on multiplexing and other topics, look up the Droplet Digital PCR Applications Guide Bulletin 6407 and Bulletin 7204 for more information on multiplexing with Droplet Digital PCR. Thank you for your time.